Welcome back to Life in Suzhou. Today I'll show you what an average cost is to live in Suzhou as a student. I've been living here for several years and in general I think it's um, affordable compared to other countries. Our accommodation is cheap, food is cheap, transportation is cheap as well. You have a lot of um, other means of transportation. Um, a lot of people say that living in China is cheap. Uh, me coming here I was expecting it to be cheap and it is very affordable. Finally, while you're watching, I hope you gain an idea of what it costs like to live in Suzhou. Okay, so um, let's talk in more showing. Let's start from the morning. Hey guys, uh, this is the neighborhood that I live in. I live in a three bedroom apartment with three of my friends. We share the utility bills. Uh, the gas bill might be cheaper because we order food most of the time because delivery is very convenient here. You can get your food as soon as possible. Uh, the electricity bill differs uh, depending on the uh, weather. During winter, it might go up because um, there's no central heating in Suzhou, so you might have to be using your AC for heating. I choose uh, to stay in an apartment because it's more comfortable and more com uh, it's more convenient for me to go to the university. Come with me. Uh, I want uh, an ice latte. Ice latte? Uh, no, actually, ice, ice mocha. Ice mocha? Yeah, yeah, medium. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of coffee shops around the university, so it's easy for me to find somewhere to clear my head. And yeah, it's time for lunch. Let's go have lunch. I like broccoli, so I'm of course picking it. Broccoli and cauliflower some chicken thank you very spicy not very medium John La I'm fun Hala E what's ball E uh what's ball Uh, sure, sure. Here is a food court around the university where I come to eat lunch. Um, there are a lot of varieties of food and they are cheap and expensive food here as well. And there are a lot of um, them around the university. I usually eat chicken because of my religion, I don't eat pork. And uh, yeah, they even give you complimentary water or even beverage sometimes. Uh, and it's really good. And here in China they don't have the tip culture so you don't have to tip the restaurants and the food is good. Um, this is the gym that I come to work out. It's close to the accommodations. There's a gym in the university, but I chose this because it's close to the accommodations. And it's uh, very much equipped, which is enough for me. Let us train for fresh breath. I also need baby wipes. I oh. ah, sure, sure. Why? Need to learn more. How? Ah, how da? Now we're in Suja Center. We're here to have dinner and uh, there are a lot of restaurants here. It's the weekend so I'm trying to find something nice to eat. An average meal usually costs around 100 to 120 RMB. Now let's look around and find a restaurant and see how much it's going to cost us to eat here. Let's go. Um, here is a famous uh, Chinese hot pot restaurant and it costs around 120 RMB for each person but it's better to come in group because it's hot pot you sit around and eat it with your friends uh, it's a nice place to check out whenever you're in Suzhou check this out uh, there's mostly meat and it's a little bit 
more expensive, around 200. And it's not for me because it's mostly beef and pork. Let's check out another place. I can't really read all of this. Ah, they have mooncake and dumplings. Yeah, but like, let's check out another restaurant. Well, today I'm craving for pasta and they seem to have very nice pasta. So I think this is it. I'm eating here today. Alright, let's go. Uh, I want this. Yeah. And then um spaghetti with fried salmon. Thank you. Alright guys, um, this is the end of the video. This is a basic living cost uh, for a student in Suzhou in a day. Um, obviously you could live a little bit more extravagant if you want, depending on what you can afford. But yeah, so um, I hope this gives you some more idea of how much it is to live in Suzhou. Leave a comment, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.